Mr. Manuel, from an international point of view, is South Africa ready to take on the, the challenges that, that are faced in the, in the global perspective? I think that, that the global economy is in a very difficult place right now. Um, it had grown lazy and dependent on, on double-digit growth from China, and we saw last year and continuing uh, into this year trend where uh, the Chinese economy can't grow at the same rates. This has had a big impact on what we export. Uh, for a long while, uh, because of Chinese demand, uh, South Africa as a commodity exporter uh, was sitting on the right side of Chinese manufacturing. Uh, but with Chinese manufacturing having dropped off, uh, our commodity exports have dropped as well. Uh, these issues will be there and will continue uh, to be there. We have to uh, look at um, uh, the content of our economy. Um, and so we can't just dig out stuff from the earth. Uh, we, we, we need to get into services and manufacturing differently. And if we want to do that, it's also important that we understand that the skill set uh, of uh, the workforce in South Africa has to change very considerably and in a very short space of time. Wearing the hats of Old Mutual and, and other boards that you sit on, how, 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 do, how does Big Company take the, the budget speech that was presented yesterday? I think that um, the messages were well prepared. Uh, the it, it wasn't just about yesterday. Um, <clears throat> what um, Minister Gordon had done was um, uh, to work with, with uh, uh, business, and uh, it was uh, an, an initiative that started around the time of Davos, continued uh, uh, at quite a pace. Uh, and uh, there was a statement by 100 CEOs uh, the day before the budget indicating support. Um, and, and I think that. Uh, my uh, observations uh, from from the Old Mutual, where the CEO of uh, Old Mutual Emerging Markets, Ralph Mupita, was directly involved. The chair of Nedbank, uh, Vasi Naidu, has been directly involved. That message is a message that says um, we have a responsibility of work in the period. This is not sort of standing back, washing our hands, and then hoping that the Minister of Finance and Government will deliver. Uh, there's a different set of messages uh, about how we grow the economy, what kind of investments are going to be important. And I think that uh, across the country, uh, boardrooms are actually receiving that message and responding very positively. But Mr. Manuel, Old Mutual and Nedbank seem to be leading the way in this with Raul Koza and yourself in the mix there. Is, there. is that influencing the leadership in, in those organizations? Well, I, 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 I don't know. My my position at Old Mutual is a very new position. Um, but, uh, you know, there are a number of uh, South African corporates where uh, uh, the issues are uh, now becoming self-evident, partly also because there are some uh, older South African corporates uh, uh, that are facing their own stresses and strains. And I think of um, uh, the challenges that uh, Anglo-American corporations face right now. Um, it's a very, very difficult issue, and I think that um, uh, it does speak to boardrooms uh, uh, because people are now having to ask if that's what happens to a long-established giant of the South African economy, uh, uh, what does it speak to about our uh, capability, and how do we prevent that from becoming the lot of all of us? Uh, and and this, th these points aren't being raised to kind of point fingers at Anglo. I think we all understand. Uh, what has happened to commodity markets, what has happened to expansion um, uh, into uh, Brazil and so on, which uh, all uh, added up uh, quite extensively to, to the minuses uh, on the Anglo-American balance sheet. Uh, yet we understand that uh, uh, our, our large companies are not going to develop by, by being confined uh, to, to our sovereign borders. Uh, the sooner uh, companies can get out and uh, be active in the global economy, uh, the better it is for all of us. But it's a very tough world out there. And I think that um, uh, the, the communication between the Ministry of Finance and Business, and the Presidency for that matter, and business over the past while, needs to continue. It shouldn't just be a flash in the pan, shouldn't be a photo opportunity. It must develop substance so that we listen to each other differently. And then finally, um, the, the litmus test in a way, 
you were very involved in 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 developing the institution that is the tre treasury of the modern democracy. Praveen Gordon was very involved in setting up SARS in the, in the modern democracy. Politics was always going to have its good days and its bad days, but those are two very solid institutions. Did they stand up to the test of, of fluctuating political scenarios? And, and what, is your, what is your view, looking back now, at those key institutions that you were part of in the, in the, in the setup? Um, I, think, I think that in many ways, um, um, the Treasury uh, uh, speaks volumes about, about what strong institutions are about. Um, the, the budget for, to be delivered in February 2017, that work will start within the next month because budgets are largely cyclical. Um, the fact that uh, Pravin Gordon was appointed uh, in the middle of December um, was able to rise to the challenge and respond with the amount of detail and confidence that he was able to do yesterday uh, speaks as much about the quality of the institution in the National Treasury uh, as it does about uh, his own ability. Uh, and, and I think that uh, as South Africans we must uh, cherish the fact that we have an institution that is as strong as, uh, and as competent uh, and as important a training ground as the Treasury and uh, SARS uh, uh, has been. Um, uh, the Minister yesterday in his speech spoke of 14,000 people who work at SARS and that remains a mainstay. Uh, we've got to continue to make these institutions places where competent young South Africans want to work, uh, recognize the, the opportunities for training and being part of very dynamic teams that actually give uh, a form and character to uh, our democracy.